Hello, Augies Worldwide, and for those who wonder what an Augie is, an Augie is a subscriber to this channel. You can become an Augie too, simply by subscribing. Today we're going to do Ask Dave number 292, and it's going to be about the Radioddity uh, GS5B FM only dual band handheld. And we're going to do the unboxing today, take a look at what all the different parts are. So let's get right to that. This is the Radioddity GS5B two-way radio. It's FM only. It is not DMR. Dual watch, dual push to talk. I'm not sure I like that. Uh, color screen and USB charging, which is uh, quite interesting. Now, I noticed that it has on this side, and you can barely see this here, but there is some text uh, that says SANE 3 LLC, and it's got an address in the United States. I find that interesting. I don't know what all that is about, but this is the, uh, the sticker that's on the side. On the bottom, they have something that's reminiscent of a topographic map. Maybe they're thinking these would be good for hikers. It's not specifically sold as a ham radio, but that's what it is. Okay. And inside we find a user's manual. The user's manual is pretty carefully written. You can follow it through. The last half of it is in German, of all things. Uh, you'd think for a, a North American uh, radio they'd have maybe French. Uh, and English and maybe Spanish. Uh, but it's a fairly well written radio. It's very straightforward. Everything is listed out here. Not quite um, native English speaking, but uh, close. Uh, this is a bunch of paperwork that I guess the Chinese government makes them put together. It has to do with um, lithium ion batteries and being shipped. Here is the programming cable. It's USB and it's the uh, Kenwood type uh, where it goes in, in here. If this has got the, I'll, we'll have to see what kind of prolific chip it has in it if it's a prolific chip and see if we need to get out the uh, old standby red cable. Now this right here is an adapter between the European and the American and the reason that they gave that to me is because um, they did not have any uh, for the American market yet put together. So I have this plug here, which is uh, set up for a uh, European style plug. And that plugs in there so I can uh, charge it. Now notice there, okay, we have a charger right here. The charger uh, takes. 12 volts in so you can use this in your car uh, or you can put a USB input in right there. See that? If you've got USB input in available that looks like a, a really small one but that's 5 volts in and it will charge the 8.4 volt battery. Okay and note that the battery is just uh, well, it doesn't say anything about the battery, but this is your charger and you can do it either with a USB charger like in your car or use the 12 volts or use the little uh, wall wart that on the American will have the correct prongs on that. And digging down further, we have, what do we have? This is an earphone type thing that plugs into this plastic doohinky here. This is one of those, uh, it's easier to just cut these open. This is interesting. This is uh, the thing it plugs into here. And it's like sort of the Secret Service thing you put this in your ear and then you have this little coil thing and this is on a clip-on in the back of your uh, coat or shirt or whatever and so you can use this as an earpiece and then it has on here 
uh, another little clip thing and this clips on to your coat or something in front and there's your push to talk right there okay so you I don't see any holes in this oh there's no we'll take a look at the instructions and see if this is a microphone too I assume it is but it's got a push to talk on it so you'd have to push on that and then this plugs into the side of the radio here is the antenna that you get and this is uh, it says antenna one um, and here we have some specifications in uh, Chinese not it says this table is intended only to communicate compliance with China requirements not intended for anything else okay fine but there's the antenna it's got a female SMA connector on the bottom here okay it's female SMA and what is this little thingy here well, I tell you this is great oh this is the belt clip and the little handle okay so that's fine. Now we uh, take out the radio itself. Oddly enough, it already has the battery attached. I think they may have put this together for me. Okay, it has a little uh, strip here that you can pull on to pull the cover off there. The radio is orange. Now this is FM only. Okay, and uh, here are two push to talk buttons one above the other um, I'll have to remember that there is a flashlight in there okay welcome channel mode oh there is a <laughs> the flashlights on the bottom and uh, you can go with blue and red um, and what else have they got Where's the flashlight? Here. Okay, and that is a pretty bright flashlight. I've got lots of light here, so it doesn't show up too much. But there's a flashlight on it. Okay, very good. And uh, it is in color. Now, I want you to notice something interesting about it. There is an S meter on that thing okay and this makes this now useful for fox hunts and things like that where you have an s meter uh, in there so the let's put the antenna on it just screws on easily okay now in order to see the screen you're going to have to push some button okay to see the screen because when that uh, times out it's going to be completely dark you can't look at it in the sun or anything like that we'll have to do a little test it says that this thing's visible in the sun so we'll go outside and, and see if that's really true okay so here's your push to talk this is tells you what you're pushing to talk on 144 this one pushes on the other one okay and there will be buttons for uh, the switching back and forth this thing is uh, quite rugged and orange which is unusual there's a uh, no that's not a button it just sort of looks like one and here is the um, where you plug in the uh, headphone now let's see this down here a uh ho -oh, on the back is a little place where you can plug in a USB charger in the back and charge it directly that's pretty cool okay and there is no USB cable with it um, and that's all that's in the box under other than Radioddity's little little logo. So 
this seems uh, a nice radio, the GS5B, and uh, in a future video we're going to uh, dig into the owner's manual and I'll show you the operation and we'll do some simple testing with it. Uh, price on this, I'll look that up and put a, uh, uh, a picture of a web page up on the net. I'm really intrigued by that uh, flashlight. It, uh, and I don't know, this is, it's got uh, red and blue lights in there flashing too. <laughs> kind of fun. Well, there is one other thing I want to point out here. This battery right here is a 2000 milliamp hour. So it's a 2 amp hour battery, which is a big battery. And it uh, goes on the back and then screws on. It's got a thumb, draw, a thumb thing here that screws it on so that uh, it won't come off. I think they have designed this so that uh, you put that on there and just uh, leave it there. Okay, and uh, there we are. I just did that with my thumbnail and it's a great big uh, thing here on the bottom and the whole battery comes off. Okay, after the unboxing we've got this uh, great looking orange radio here and I just wanted to point out that uh, the Chinese radios are starting to get a little bit more expensive. A good part of that I think is that they've discovered what the American market is looking for, something solid. And then they're also looking at the competitor, which is the Japanese handhelds. And they're discovering that there's a nice sweet spot in the market for that. And that explains the price uh, for this handheld. This is FM only, it's not DMR. So, um, in an upcoming video very shortly, we will be looking at the performance of the radio. We'll find out how much power it puts out uh, on both bands, and we will have some uh, sample QSOs, and we will look at programming uh, the radio. So um, take a look at decastlercom slash support, uh, which is how I accumulate channel funds to do things like uh, purchase uh, the antenna that we talked about in the last video. This was sent to me as a sample for review and uh, I'll try and make sure that I make that clear with uh, each review. So we've got other things coming up uh, in the next few videos and until we next meet, 73.